At the end of this video, you'll know how to locate and use the med clinical documentation. To begin, you will need to locate the med clinical documentation in your database. The best practice workflow would be to schedule a session in your calendar. As a system administrator, you are able to set up appointment types within the calendar that you can assign the appropriate documents to. As a staff member, you will schedule the appointments and check in that appointment to generate the documentation. If you need to manually find the documentation, navigate to the top left-hand corner of Best Notes and type in the client's first name, last name, or both. Within the search results, select the client's name. Once you are on the client's chart, towards the top there will be a Med Clinical button. Selecting this button will open a new window. On the left-hand side of this window, there are tabs for each document. If you are subscribed to the Best Notes documentation profile set, some documents will have an asterisk in front of them. The asterisk signifies that these documents are part of the profile. The Best Notes documentation profile set is built based on Joint Commission, CARF, Optum, and Medicaid standards. Best Notes keeps these documents updated with the latest standards as they come out. The content in these documents is not editable. If you have a question that you would like to have added to the assessment, you can send in a ticket to team at bestnotes.com. The content management team will review your ticket and ensure there isn't any duplicated data. Beginning with the pre-screen intake assessment, the demographics section is uneditable, as it is in every assessment. This information is pulled in from the client's chart and will need to be edited on the Edit Client screen. In the intake or pre-screen, you can hide sections that are not applicable by selecting the Hide on Snapshot checkbox. This will fully collapse the section, and that section will not be visible in the snapshot on the client's activity log. These documents are also auto-save documents. As you type into a text field or select a checkbox or radio button, the document will auto-save the content. Once you have finished filling out the pre-screen or intake assessment, you will need to review your signers. The signers that have been added will be listed on the lighter gray line in the top left-hand corner. If you need to add additional signers, select those signers from the required signatures drop-down. Once you have verified your signers and you have completed filling out the document, you will select the Publish Snapshot button in the top right-hand corner. This will save a copy of this version of the document in the client's activity log. If you do not select the Publish Snapshot button, this document will not appear on the client's activity log. If you are the one that created the document and you have been added as a signer, when you select the Publish Snapshot button, a new window will open asking if you are ready to sign the document. Selecting OK will add your electronic signature and date to the document. You have now completed the pre-screen intake assessment and can move to the CDABPS or Comprehensive Diagnostic Assessment and or Biopsychosocial. This document works the same way as the pre-screen intake assessment. The demographics are not editable within the assessment and need to be edited on the Edit Client screen if necessary. These documents have what Best Notes calls the golden thread. This means if your clients are submitting an application from the client portal, that application information can be pulled through into the pre-screen intake assessment. Once the pre-screen intake assessment is finished, that information can be pulled into the CDABPAS. It is important that you are reviewing the information that is pulled into each assessment and that you update that information based on your assessment. In the biopsychosocial, if you scroll down to the very bottom of the section, you will see the initial problem diagnosis area. To use the Diagnosis tool in Best Notes, you will begin by selecting the Add Initial Problem Diagnosis button. This will take you into our Diagnosis tool. Depending on which option you are defaulted to, you will have the ICD-10 or the DSN-5 library. Select your category, and then you can enter in your Diagnosis code. The code search is a smart search, which means you can type in the code of the diagnosis or a word that is in the diagnosis, or you can select the drop-down. Once you have selected the diagnosis, you have the presenting problem text field, the display code as text field, and the diagnostic criteria text field. The portion at the bottom is specific to the DSM-5. If you have ICD-10 selected in that first drop-down, you will only have the diagnostic criteria text field. When using the DSM-5, select your criteria, 
Then at the top right hand corner, select Save to continue. This will take you back to the CDABPS. If you scroll to the bottom of this document, you will see an initial treatment plan. The diagnosis pulled into the initial treatment plan, and you can see the criteria listed below. Below the criteria, you will have initial goals. These are client stated initial goals and will pull into the master treatment plan, but are not considered the master treatment plan official goals. Select the recommended services for the initial treatment plan and any checkboxes within the medical section. Within your biopsychosocial, you will note all referrals in this table. Once you have finished filling out the biopsychosocial, you will review your signers in the top left hand corner. Add any additional signers and select Publish Snapshot. Now that you have completed your CDA, BPS, you can move on to your master treatment plan by selecting the tab on the left hand side. The information from previous assessments will pull into the master treatment plan. You will want to be sure that you are updating this information for your treatment plan. Using the Diagnosis tool within the Master Treatment Plan will allow you to select Add Diagnosis, but you will also be able to pull the client's initial diagnosis from the Biopsychosocial by selecting the blue arrow in front of the Add Diagnosis button. This will pull up any initial diagnoses that were added in your assessments. To pull over an initial diagnosis, select the Diagnosis code, then select OK to verify that you would like to add this diagnosis to the Master Treatment Plan. This will take you to the Treatment Plan Library where there will be preloaded lists of goals, objectives, and interventions. You, as a system administrator, can customize what is within your Treatment Plan Library. To get more information about customizing your Treatment Plan Library, please see the System Setup video. To select goals for this client, select the checkbox in front of the goals or type in the Quick Add option. Once you have assigned the client's goals, select Next in the top right hand corner. Selecting the Save and Return will take you out of the Diagnosis tool before you get to your objectives. Once you have selected Next, you will see the goals are at the top for reference. When you select an objective, you will be prompted to select which goal that objective is tied to. You will also have the Quick Add option throughout the Diagnosis tool. Once you have assigned all of the objectives to the treatment plan, select Next. This will take you to a list of interventions from the treatment plans. This will show you each objective, split with the list of interventions below each. Select the interventions that you want for each objective. You can also utilize the Quick Add below each objective. Once you have added all of the interventions, select Save and Continue. This will take you back to the Master Treatment Plan where you will see the diagnosis. In addition to that, you will see the Master Problem List. The Master Problem List can have multiple problems for the same diagnosis. You never want to duplicate a diagnosis. If you need to, you can add an additional problem for the same diagnosis. Begin by selecting the Add Problem button. This will take you into the Diagnosis tool where you will document the diagnosis and go through the goals, objectives, and interventions. This will add another master problem to the list. These are numbered because each problem will have its own problem details. The problem details will list out the goals with an Add Goal button. As the client completes goals, you will add goals, then you will see that there are objectives and interventions within the objectives. There is also a date created estimated completion date, and an actual resolved date. You will have the staff created, and the staff responsible, and a reviewed and updated section. This is for your treatment plan reviews. The master treatment plan is also your treatment plan review, because when you publish a snapshot, you are taking a snapshot of each version of the treatment plan. Below all of the objectives, you have the Add Objective button. This will allow you to add objectives as the client is completing them. When you have finished the master treatment plan, you will review your signers and add any additional signers and publish your snapshot. If the client is added as a signer on the document, they will be able to enter their PIN number for their electronic signature. Or if the client is not in the office and they have a portal account, you can send the document to their portal where they can review and sign the document. If you do not immediately see the document in the client's activity log, select the Refresh wheel next to the New Note button. 
This will refresh the activity log, and you will then be able to see the document. Now you know how to access and use your MedClinical documents. If you have any questions about the MedClinical, you can reach out to Best Notes Support.